Hey guys, what is up? Today I am taking you guys on a tour of my car. If you didn't know, my name is Reagan. I am a mom to two and soon will be a mom to three in February. I'm pregnant with a little baby girl and I have two boys, six and four. Um, but yeah, she is coming fast. It is already November. We are getting ready for her. Um, and I'm super excited. I am 24 weeks and four days, <laughs> I think. Um, so yeah, um, my husband and I um, have been looking for a car for a few months and I um, was talking to my mother a lot about one and she said she had found one that she thinks I would love and she was totally right. It is a Dodge Grand Caravan. So I fell in love with it immediately and bought it because it is just an amazing car. It has all the cool features. It is a Dodge Caravan SXT and I just know that the kids will love it. I know that it will be very functional so I loved that about it um, and it's not brand new but it's a newer model so it has a lot of the new features that everybody loves um, which you will see in this video. Um, I'm really really excited. I've always loved driving a minivan. I couldn't wait to get another one <laughs> so I am super pumped to show you guys how I keep my car neat and organized but anyways without further ado let's go check out my car all right guys so this is my car it's just the 2015 Dodge Caravan um, you have the automatic unlock with the button it has these little buttons where I can open there we go and the other side there it goes so that is the full key that's how you work your key and that has lock in the panic of course I have my um, keys to my old car because it just got put in storage over there. Um, I just put them right, right here really quickly. And then we have um, a lottery ticket that my husband bought me and I ended up winning on it. Then this is just an overview. We have the black interior. We usually keep the car seats up here, but I was cleaning the car, so we moved them back there for a little bit, but usually they will sit right here. This is just the driver's seat. The um, steering wheel is leather. I really like that about it. Um, we have just the speedometer. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the car just so you guys can see how everything lights up. So this is just your hands-free mode. I really don't know. This is for cruise control. I know that as much, um, but I don't really know what VR is. I think like verbal response or something. I don't know. And then um, over here, we have more cruise control settings. And then behind the steering wheel, this is just to turn up and down the volume and it's right behind there. And then on the other side, there's another one and that's to change the music. So this is just um, you know the AC so I can control the back the very rear AC from here This is for front or rear. I can drive on econ so that just you know slows down your transmission a little bit um, Helps you conserve energy especially with longer road trips. That's a great feature hazard lights I have no clue what this is my husband needs to teach me all this stuff. I have a little um Febreze thing. It is the Tide scent for like laundry detergent. Ever since I became pregnant, I don't know. I love the smell of laundry detergent, so that is there. And then up here we just have the media system. So right now we are just on the regular station. So they have AFM, FM, and satellite. And then if you click this, you can go to HDD. I don't know what that is. Disc. So disc is for our, you can either listen to music, of course, with a disc, or it's for our TV. We have a TV in the back for the kids. And then we have an aux. Um, the radio call. And I think this is the verbal response thing again. Um, menu audio my files and then another usb thing and then when you click load this is what happens whoa so cool you can put a dvd or just regular disc in there does not take bluetooth or um, blu-ray unfortunately but um that's fine because we have plenty of regular discs down here we have just this um little drawer this is where i keep all of my snacks so i have three things of goldfish and some kind bars i think i have two kind bars in there and then it has the little um adapters for 
car chargers, I guess. Um, but I keep snacks in there for the kids. Um, I have my big water bottle. I love these cup holders. They are godsend because my cup used to not fit in any of our cup holders and in, in our cars. And it fits perfectly in here. So I love that. And then back here, we have another compartment. I have my change in my dollars right there. This is just for, you know, meters or anything like that. Or if I want to spend exact cash, I'll do that. I couldn't figure out how to get them in here without them falling out. So I just gave up and put all of my change back there. I have um, some Purell hand sanitizer, two things of tissues because um, our older son has really, really bad allergies. So um, we always have to give him tissues. So we have two packs up here on the go, ready for me to use. I have some in there as well, but um, these ones are my emergency ones. I have some chapstick, just the aquifer. Um, and then I have some Tylenol. I think, is this extra strength? I don't know. Yeah, extra strength because you know those days. Up here is where I keep um, my owner's manual of the car. I have two extra packs of tissues. I have some face wipes for in case I need to take off my makeup because sometimes my husband and I will take like spontaneous trips places and then like get a hotel or something and I forget makeup wipes every time I go on trips. I don't know why. Um, I have some five gum. I have these little wisps. These are the Colgate Wisps Max, Max Fresh. Austin uses um, these like floss picks religiously. He can't leave the house without them and when he does leave them at home, he wants to come home immediately just to get some. So I keep some in the car at all times because it's really um, just unfortunate when we don't have them because he'll be miserable the whole day. This is what I was talking about. I have my charger right here. Um, this is just a USB. And then I have an extra one of these little um, air fresheners for the car. I can't do two at a time because the scent is just way too strong if I have two in at a time. Down here is another part of the glove department. I have some Huggies wipes when baby girl's here. These are gonna be a godsend, but they also work perfectly for the boys when they spill things, when they make a mess, anything like that. We have Huggies wipes. We always use wipes. Or, you know, even those, you know, unfortunate moments <laughs> whenever you're in traffic or whenever you're on a long road trip or something and one of the kids has to go to the bathroom. Um, if you ever have to pull over on the side of the road, especially in Texas, because there are a lot of times where you're driving and there's no restrooms in sight and they have to go in a bush. These are great for that. Um, I have deodorant. This is just the secret Lux Lavender. It's the gel kind because um, regular deodorant might melt, especially in Texas. This is something that they left in here. This is Exterior Bond Master Environment Protection. I don't know. That is from the dealer. I don't know why they left that in there, but they did. We have a charger for Austin because he has an Android, so he needed a charger for his phone. And then I have this little filing system. I keep my license, my insurance. Um, I have info on the kids in here, and just in case, registration, stuff like that. Just anything that you might need in case of an accident, so, so everybody knows who you are. Um, this is really helpful just so that in case something bad happens, you are ready to go. With that, I try to keep everything in my car very minimal just because um, I don't like a lot of clutter. I like minimal things. I like everything to match black, everything. I um, didn't even want this cord here. I wanted a black cord to match everything. I'm very particular. I don't like messes. I don't like clutter. It's really hard when you have kids because they leave messes everywhere. But um, I make do with what I can. So um, yeah, now let me get into the back seat and I'll show you guys what is up back there. Do you have a DVD player? I'll show you guys this first. Um, so first off, we have the air controls for back here. Um, they can control their heat, their cold, how high they have the air conditioning, where it's going, you know, whatnot like that. If you push this button, 
down will fall this. I really, really, really like having this, especially when we go on long road trips so the boys don't get bored. Um, it's really nice to have. Down here in the glove compartment, glove compartment, I don't know, back seat compartment, whatever you want to call it. There's two, there's one on either side. So whatever um, side the boys choose to sit on, one of the sides will have the DVD case. So we just have a bunch of kids movies. We are starting a collection because we um, just got this car and we didn't have many. So we're starting a collection of DVDs for the boys to watch. Anyways, we have a trash can. I just attached this to my um, armrest. This trash can I got from Target. It is amazing. I love having a trash can in the car. Um, this just keeps everything really clean. So if we do allow the boys to have a snack in the car, they know where to put their trash. If we need to put trash in there, like receipts or whatever, put it in there. It's amazing. I love having a trash can in my car. It keeps things a lot more clean and that is the goal. Back here is just three more seats. Um, usually, again, the boys would not be sitting back here, but we have two car seats back here anyways right now. Um, they have a cup holders back here, two cup holders over here. So yeah, plenty of room. And then you can fold down all of this and create a lot more room. So this is just the under storage. And go ahead and lift this up. Down here we have a um, jumper cables for if the car breaks down. Down here in this under storage, let's scan the latches just right here. Um, we have a car vacuum. I got that from Target. It's bag. I didn't put it back in the bag this time. My bad. Um, and then we have some interior wipes that just help protect your car from you know any damage. And then I have some extra snacks just in case the kids get hungry. Um, I do need to put some water in here. That's one thing that I am missing. But other than that, we really just you know this is great storage. And then lastly, this is just the trunk. In the trunk, there is no storage back here, which is so weird for me because I feel like usually all trunks have a little storage at the bottom, but it's a, just a deep trunk, so it goes pretty deep. You can put plenty of groceries in here. I do have some reusable grocery bags um, right here for when I go shopping. Um, and then over here, I have an emergency kit, first aid kit, and then over here, you just turn these two little knobs and pull down. You have um, your jack and um, I don't know what that is. Okay, stuff that you can do to maintenance your car. I am terrible with car maintenance, so don't ask me, but my husband would know. Um, yeah, over there. And then right here is one of my favorite parts. You just click this button. And once again, that's another button to just put the trunk down. I'm gonna go ahead and close up the car. Goodbye car. So that was about it for my car. Um, I do keep everything very minimal. I don't like a lot of clutter. I don't like a lot of color. I, I try to keep everything black, obviously. Their car seats are black. The, the car seat that I registered for for baby girl is black. I want to keep everything very matchy-matchy. That's just who I am. I like matchy-matchy. Um, so yeah, we have um, everything matching, um, even my little trash can. And yeah, basically that's how I keep my car very minimal, like things that I absolutely feel like I need. Um, I actually did forget to show you guys something. I have a sunglass case where I keep my sunglasses up here. <laughs> but, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for what you think I should put in my car that I'm absolutely missing, that is a necessity, please let me know. But I think I have it pretty knocked down. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please go ahead and like and subscribe to me. That'd be a great help. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye.